Oh! Now this is a pygmy rattlesnake found right here in Florida. We have them all up and down. Hey guys, welcome to Wildlife Wednesday right here at SA Company. I live in Florida. We have six different venomous species right here in the state of Florida, snakes. I'm gonna teach you a little bit about one of them today. It's called the pygmy rattlesnake. I'm actually standing right here talking to you guys with a pygmy rattlesnake right by my foot. Check him out. How cool is that snake? And I just wanna show you something. Look, if I walk by the snake, see how my foot is planted? And it steps right next to him and he didn't even strike me. I walked right over him. He doesn't want to attack me. He just wants to be left alone. Now, if I wanted, were to interact with him, he's going to react a lot differently because then he's going to be in protection mode. He's going to try to save himself. I've got this glove here. It's a Kevlar glove. It's called a bite glove. His fangs cannot penetrate this glove. Now, we're going to show you. Oh, did you see him strike the glove? just bit the glove there. This is the pygmy rattlesnake. And if you look at his face like that, see how it's got that sort of lance head look? That's because it's a rattlesnake. It's in the lance head viper family, they call it. They always have that arrow shaped head because it is venomous. Now, you're not gonna notice that right away when you see this snake because they're so small. And look at that tail. See the tail, how it's really colored lightly like that because they actually use the tail and wiggle it and use it as a lure. A little mouse might see it wiggling and think it's a worm and come up to eat it. Then the rattlesnake bites it, the mouse dies, and the rattlesnake has a meal. That's what they use their venom for. That's why they want to use their venom. And that's why they really don't want to bite people because they're wasting their venom, which is valuable to them because they need it to survive, to eat. Now we're gonna set this little guy down. Check him out. These guys, look. I was just handling him, so he's upset, and he's still not biting my foot because I'm not harming him. I'm not a danger to him. If I walk right past, he's happy. I'm gone. Now look, step right over him. Did not strike at me. He doesn't want to waste that venom. He needs it to hunt to survive. Now, if you leave these guys alone, they're not going to bother you. Leave them be. And if you were to get bit by a pygmy rattlesnake, please, please seek medical attention because you don't know how you're going to react to the venom. You might have an allergic reaction and then it's very dangerous. But most of the time, these guys, the bite is so insignificant. When you go to the hospital, they're gonna treat you, but you're gonna be in and out. You guys, thanks for joining us here at SA Company. I love sharing my passion with you, and I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you share your passion. Get swamped. See you guys.